Hello Stratters, mtgartikels.com, they helped make this season of the Pooping Gauntlet happen. Check them out. I haven't talked to them since I got my last payment from them, but I'm still committed to the deal and promoting them every match. It's round nine. I'm playing cyborgs. The possible winner of the Pooping Gauntlet, season three. Razita! I do want to play first. I have no lands. I have lands. I will use them. Kibit. This is a pretty good first turn play, right? So I got two artifacts and then I can play Sun, chase, I just pipe bone split a frog might next turn. I would definitely want that. No, that's next turn, of course. So we go bone splitter. Yeah, I can play Sun, chase a frog might next turn. Uh, what am I talking about? Homunculus frog might. Maggot carrier. Is this suicide black? I should be able to handle suicide black, right? So three artifacts. Making frog might cost one. Which is a good deal. Let's see you suicide black me. Definitely the sun chaser now. Yeah, it is. No, it's zombies. So if I don't draw a land, I think it is just attack play sun chaser. Looks good to me. Zombies, nice matchup for round nine. Haunted Fangraph. Wow, for the really slow value. Butcher Goal is gonna stand in the way. And Maggot Carrier losing you even more life. Do I run this into Butcher Goal? Well, he needs to lose something else. So I probably just attack with everything. Now I equip that guy. And swing with the team. Play another Sun Chaser. Maggots are dying. Oriok oh, Sun Chaser. Now I have to keep Frogmite alive. Do you really want to do that? That looked weird. Why did you do the Shepherd of Rot thing? Is there some sort of combo kill? I don't know what that would be. But it didn't happen. And what do we treat this like? Well, Obsidian Acolyte is pretty good, but do we need him? I think we just need to crush this guy. Is, is there anything Obsidian Acolyte is better than? Well, maybe it's better than Wall Scourge. But gaining life seems pretty sweet. Mm. 
Of course, Suicide Black isn't, or Zombies isn't on the list. I'm afraid of like breaking the balance of this well-tuned machine by bringing in Obsidian Acolyte, and he's so slow and small. I don't want to take out artifacts. I feel like he should be brought in, but I don't know over what. Maybe he's just too small. Oh, I'm gonna run the deck as is. I'm more afraid of diluting the deck than I am of anything black on the ground. Ardent Recruit is my opener here. Can I gain Metalcraft on turn two? No, I, yeah, I can. So that looks fantastic. So I play Wall Scourge, Wall Scourge, Flare Husk. No, Wall Scourge, Wall Scourge, Dark Seal Citadel. That's how I get everything out. Uh, or that. Is it Homunculus? Is it Wall Scourge? Hmm, I'm gonna mix it up and do both. Just as long as it's an artifact. And Homunculus can block the 1-1 one -one Maggot Carrier as well. And then just Wall Scourge, Sun Chaser. Yeah, I think he was pretty doomed there. Cyborgs wins against zombies. Cyborgs have lost three duels so far. We have an 8-0 record. Lost a duel against Golgari Dredge in round eight. Lost a duel against Demir Control in round six. I lost a duel in round one against Domain. But Cyborgs is in round 10 of the Poppy Gauntlet. And now I'm gonna need to fill it out. JPH Snake is the brewer of this deck. The champion is... Who is... Could get 100 tickets from MTGU tickets if this deck wins. The Black Gauntlet is the champion of this deck. Congratulations, you have a fairly good chance of getting the 100 bot credits from MTGU tickets. MTG, well, uh, AJ Pechnik said there was a card in uh, Innistrad that could get into this deck. The 1-2 that made a clue. Replacing something, I can't remember what he was replacing. So, we will be back next week for round 10. There are two matches left this week. The two exciting ones, perhaps. Spite for leeches, somehow in this Pauper Gauntlet still. And Aristocrats, which I think is the crowd favorite to win. A uh, unique brew that nobody had seen before this Gauntlet. Oh, maybe somebody had, but I hadn't. Well, Spiteful Leeches fit into that too. They're all rogue decks, right? All five of them, not the White Weenie Soul tokens. Uh, green one is maybe not the rogue deck as well, but I think it is a rogue deck. It's fairly uh, different from the main Stompy build. So now I'm just talking to fill this out to 15 minutes because I don't want you to know that it was... But on the other hand, we are playing two aggro decks against each other. Maybe I don't have to fill this out. People see zombies and cyborgs and they know it will... They w that information that it's a 10 minute video won't give them any... Okay, 
I'm going off to the next match. Thank you for watching.